Welcome to Soft Speaks Camp Kitchen. And we're going to be making some uh, Dutch oven meatloaf. And the kind of meatloaf um, we make is Italian. It's got Italian seasonings and flavors. And uh, we like to take it into portions and stuff it into um, um, a part of an onion. Uh, usually a sweet onion is what we use, but you can use any onion you like. We've made this recipe s many times for friends and it's always been a big hit. Uh, we've used beef and we've used turkey and this time we're gonna use beef. So I've got some ground beef, actually this is ground sirloin and I'm keeping it chilled just to make sure there's nothing uh, wrong. And I'm just gonna assemble all the ingredients and I'll tell you what they are as I assemble them. So this is a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese and it's grated. I didn't grate it myself, but it's grated. And I'm gonna put that in. I've got uh, one red bell pepper, uh, chopped really fine. I've got uh, onion, chopped really fine. I've got a I've got some Italian uh, breadcrumbs, some Italian breadcrumbs. I've got some uh, mushrooms. Um, I'm not gonna use all of this, I'm just gonna use part of it. Uh, I've got some uh, roasted garlic, minced. Uh, I've already bought it minced. Um, I've got some parsley. Uh, this is uh, about a tablespoon, and I've got, uh, let's see, this is uh, balsamic vinegar, it's a tablespoon. And I've got a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two eggs, beaten slightly. Uh, I've got a tablespoon of um, tomato paste, two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin, and this is about, hmm, I guess about a tablespoon of um, basil, uh, fresh from the garden. And we're just going to mix this up. So you just want to mix it really well. Get all those flavors in there. Let them meld really well to a nice meatloaf. And no bugs in them. <laughs> I'm just kind of folding it around, trying to make sure everything gets blended really well. As you can see, it's making a nice loaf. I'm just gonna, I think this is good here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour, and it can, it can be left overnight as well. And then when it's, it's done, we'll bring it out and, you know, create little portions, probably about this size, you know, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll put it in the Dutch oven. Well, we'll stuff it in uh, onions and then we'll uh, cook it in the uh, Dutch oven. So we'll be back later and uh, show you the rest of it. So, um, 
we have the um, meatloaf stuffed onions. And uh, I know we didn't show it, but what we did was we took two onions and we carved out kind of like an onion ring. And then we stuffed the meatloaf in there and we've been cooking it for almost an hour. And uh, I'm gonna lift it up and show you in just a minute. And we're gonna put some barbecue sauce with well, the barbecue sauce mix that we did and uh, a little Parmesan on top of that. So, a big review. Here they are. So as you can see, they're really big onions. And there's the meatloaf stuffed all the way down. So they're like big onion rings. So I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Because we're on a time constraint here. And a little barbecue. Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to put the lid back on. Right. By the way, we have uh, 10 coals on the bottom and probably 20 on the top, maybe more. And every 15 minutes we've been turning it. The top we turned one way every 15 degrees and 15 degrees on the bottom. And uh, that's every 15 minutes. It takes about an hour to cook this. So they're finally done. It's been about an hour. And boy, do they look and smell amazing. Look at this. This thick onion is all nice and cooked. And uh, it caramelized the top of the meatloaf. Oh, can't wait to dig into this.